So I recently shot a short documentary using my GH5 and I decided I wanted to rig the camera up a bit. I'm gonna show you my current camera rig, which I also use to shoot a short documentary. Let's start with the body and build it out from there. As you can probably guess by now, I used the GH5. I coupled my GH5 with a Viltrox EFM2 speed booster. The speed booster allows me to reduce the crop of the camera down to 1.4 times and also allows me to gain one extra stop of light compared to using native lenses. And with the Viltrox speed booster, the camera now has an Canon EF mount. And for the documentary, I borrowed my friend's Sigma 18 to 35 mm since I wanted the versatility of a zoom lens. And since I no longer own a Sigma 18 to 35 and the Viltrox speed booster is on the camera filming me right now, we're just gonna have to pre pretend that this is the same combo. You could use the camera just like this. But let's rig it out just a bit more. Let's start rigging the camera up and for that we need a cage. I went with a universal cage from Camvate. If you remove the GH5 you could put basically any DSLR type camera in this rig and it would work just the same. The cage comes with a wooden side handle. Um, this hand strap is not included but since I basically just jammed it in here it's kind of difficult to get off so I'm just gonna leave it here on for now. I wanted to be able to quickly remove the camera out of the cage so next up is a Manfrotto-like quick release system from Andor. It's a very basic quick release plate. You attach this part to your camera and this part to your cage. And now we can simply slide the camera in and out of the cage just like this. I wanted to add a top handle to the cage in order to comfortably get low shots and also have an easy way of carrying the rig. I chose one from small rig which simply bolts down to the cage using two screws. I also bought two small rig cold shoe adapters since the cage doesn't come with any cold shoe mounts. I moved them around a little bit but in the end I settled with putting one of them here and one of them here which will make sense in just a bit. I quickly realized I didn't really use the side handle that much since I always ended up having one hand on the lens for pulling focus. This turned out to be a great position to mount my monitor to. Using the cold shoe mount on top of the handle I always felt that the rig got a bit too tall for my liking. And to mount the monitor I used this little monitor mount. It allows me to adjust the screen without the need of tightening or loosening any kind of screws and I can do it all with just one hand. And the monitor that I use is a Feelworld F6. It's a full HD 5.7 inch monitor with a false color, focus peaking, zebras, aspect ratio guides and so on. It's not the brightest monitor so viewing it in bright sunlight isn't optimal, it does come with a sun hood though, which helps a bit. If you would like to power the camera for the same battery as the monitor, you can do that with the help of a dummy battery plugged into one of these DC ports. But what about sound? I did actually mount my Rode Video Micro to the cage on the side right here, but we actually never ended up using that sound. And that's because we had a dedicated sound person for this shoot. But since we did a lot of run and gun type shooting, we needed a reliable way of syncing audio and video up in post. Using scratch audio from the microphone is one option, but we decided to leave that as a backup solution since we were able to borrow a tentacle sync. A tentacle sync is basically a time code generator or time code clock which allows the use for timecode on audio tracks. I don't own one, but let's pretend that this little unit is a tentacle sync. We would sync the tentacle sync to the audio recorder, and then just using some simple gaffer's tape, I would mount the tentacle to the cage, and then just simply plug it into the 
mic ports. And then we had a reliable way of syncing based on time code in post. To be able to use both the video micro and the tentacle sync at the same time with only one mic input, I bought a simple splitter. This is a simple 3.5mm stereo splitter which just splits the left and right channel into two different connectors. The tentacle would go into one connector, the video micro into the other, and then on the camera they would be split between the left and right channel. This could also be used to connect, let's say, a lav mic and a shotgun mic at the same time, just using one mic input. And that's all the parts I used to build out my GH5 rig. Hopefully the video was helpful in some way, shape or form, or at least entertaining. I'll try to leave links to all the different parts down in the description if you're looking to purchase any of them. Um, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see some more and I'll see you next time.